higher education was always about um, creating knowledge and disseminating it to society. And I think also that higher education was a way for states to educate their future elites, their, their future leaders. I think that in order to know what kind of higher education we want, I think we need to first figure out what kind of society we want. We all think our higher education system is better, that it better fits our personalities and it's better for our citizens. But in fact, what we have to deal with now are problems which go well beyond our borders. And this is why the higher education system needs to help our citizens address all of those. Regionalisasi itu akan membantu mobilitas daripada e, mahasiswa antar satu perguruan tinggi dengan perguruan tinggi e, yang lain di dalam negara itu bahkan lintas negara. Jadi parameter kesuksesan daripada e, katakanlah kemajuan perekonomian itu kan menjadi salah satu kiblat begitu. Nah kalau kita melihat itu sebenarnya di belakang perekonomian ini ada pendidikan tinggi. Jadi kalau pendidikan tinggi kita juga berkembang maka dia akan mendorong perekonomian kita itu menjadi semakin maju. Nah sebagai contoh e, konkretnya kita punya lebih dari 7.000 hampir 7.500 e, perguruan tinggi mm, di seluruh ASEAN. Tetapi yang menjadi anggota dari AUN, Asian University Network, itu hanya 30 perguruan tinggi. Jadi secara persentase itu belum bisa tercover. The connectivity and comparability in higher education is very important factor for the ASEAN countries because now we are in the position of moving towards ASEAN integration and ASEAN economic community declared already in, by the end of 2015. And in this case, it is very important for ASEAN countries to, to work together in higher education in order to strengthen the capacity of human resource. Because within the ASEAN uh, member states, the quality of education varies from country to country and that's why it is very important that the quality of higher education should be fostered because every country needs to improve the quality in, in, in education. SHARE is a really exciting new initiative SHARE is what the name says. It's very programmatic. It's about sharing European expertise in higher education with ASEAN. As you know, ASEAN is embarking on an ambitious project of creating an ASEAN community from next year. This will mean free movement of goods, of services, of capital, and of people. So while our ASEAN is going on this path already, maybe we can support and boost it a little bit. You have to go forward, you have to move forward, you cannot afford to stand still. Because in the end, what we want is that the 10 ASEAN countries, as well as the whole region, is competitive. And it's like a stepping stone for us to improve our higher education because when we have student mobility, we come together so each and every government get attention. So they really focus on education and then we learn from each other, you know. For me, it's really actually really good opportunity for me to be here because I have friends from different cultural or religion practices, you know, so I learn from them. I know how to approach people, I know how to adapt with them, so I don't have any difficulty in the future if my colleagues is from, from Christian or from Muslim or from Buddhist. I already experienced all the diversity, you know, it's, so it's very, it's really good thing for me.